Hello and welcome to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad, working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. So in earlier video, we have seen how to do checking from Visual Studio to Azure repo and how to trigger the build and release manually. We have created build pipeline and release pipeline in other videos and we have triggered multiple times for different purpose. In this video, we are going to see that how we can configure our build pipeline and release pipeline to trigger automatically. So scenario is that when I am going to check in this code, any changes in into particular branch, then the build will be kick in. Once build will be completed, the release will start and release will deploy to Azure. So let's go ahead and see. So if we go into pipeline section, we have a couple of pipelines. So let's go start with this Surface Demo Web App build. And I'm going to edit this build right now. And when we have this build, we have few tasks over there where we are doing build solution and other things. We have seen how to do this one. And now we will go to trigger section. In trigger section, if we see right now that continuous integration is disabled. So there are multiple ways to do that one. So once we can enable the settings and then it will ask that which branch we want to include. Then we can select which branch we wanted to use for triggering purpose. If any check-in happens into main, then it will be triggered or any other branch. Maybe your branching strategy has for future branch or, or user branch. So let me see that. I'm going to keep this one, but ideally it will be main branch and other things. And then if your branch has multiple solution path, you can put the path specification or exclude that one also. Here also include any um, thing if you want to exclude any branch, you can do that way also that, hey, I want to include this branch, exclude another branch. So that also we can do. And once yeah, we are done, we can save this and let's save. And if you want it right now, any check-in is going to come in this branch, then this will be triggered. But if you have a scenario where you wanted nightly build, daily night, one deployment or build should happen. So you can go ahead and set up using scheduled build that, hey, after this time, after Monday, Tuesday or any other place, start this build from this branch. So daily, nightly build, you can have set up all this using the scheduled build. That is the way to go ahead and let me delete this right now. And also there is third way that if any build, you can have build dependency. If any build you want to do that, we have another build called Surface Demo Build. If that build is triggered and that build is completing, then after that one, do you want to trigger my this build? So that is how the build chain, you can build that after one build is going to trigger another build. Based on that, you can do that one. So this is how few things are there. So right now we have saved for this continuous integration and we will see that one. Now I am going into release part. So in release section, we have this release and this release was we were triggering manually previously. Now we in this section, I am going to change that. Hey, what is the trigger for continuous deployment right now it is disabled so i am going to enable the settings and going to say that hey for which branch we want to do then i can go and add that branch filter i and i want to deploy only from any user branch or any main branch same thing so in this section if you see any time a new build is available build is completed then I need build is branch done from this branch, it is going to trigger and that is what we are going to see. Same way you can do that, hey, pipeline default branch, we can add default branch and other things we are not going to add. Similar way, if any build is available completed as a part of the pull request trigger, that is also we can do. We are not going to use that one right now. So this is one thing we are going to enable these settings and I'm going to save that. And this all action will be triggered whatever build definition we have selected in artifact. And if you notice that one right now, we have two environment where we have dev and test and both are manual right now. So I'm going to say that, hey, I want to enable run this one as soon as my release is created. I do not want to manually. It is for test. And if you see notice that one, we have this test application deployed. Let me refresh this one. 
so this is that test application is deployed let me save this now i have saved these settings so as soon it is saved here and you can check that one this is check mark is done now let me go ahead inside our code and inside our code we have this pages right so i'm going to pages section and inside pages index.cstml where we have this and where we are seeing that one this page was coming right this page is there you can see this page now let's let me go ahead and update this one and as soon as i uh, check in that code now i'm going to check in this code and this check-in is going to happen in my branch where i have registered i'm not raising any pull request i'm going to directly check in, in this one and that all these things should be trailing automatically so let me see that one I'm going to commit this and once I commit that one uh, I'm pushing right now so it went to our origin branch let me go ahead and see now into repo section where I am going to refresh that I just see that this just now it is uh, created I'm not right now creating pull request let's go inside our build pipeline right let's go to build now if you see our build is just triggered automatically and let's go inside this one all this is being right now it is running automatically it's good that it is being automatically run now let's see more details and this changes let's see that this changes is what we did right now so that is coming and we can see a little bit more details over there uh, for who are the author and other things so let's go back to our build which is running once the build will be running successful now if we go and see that build is successful right now uh, this was the build so got successful let's go ahead and see that one now that as soon as build is successful this uh, a trigger is done and now if we see trigger is happening for test let's see that So our code has been spread and our page was this so test one so let me bring that page and let's see what happens okay this was also there so i can I mean, you can see that we have now updated coming here this is how continuous integration and continuous deployment works if you set up any specific branch in this case i have set up for demo purpose user branch but generally it happens that you set up main branch and then uh, you raise pr to main branch somebody will approve that pr after review and then it uh, the build will be kick in and the deployment will happen i hope you will like this video thank you